his body. Bulging biceps more granite boulders than meat carved by steel and syringes. Useless, save for poses and intimidation. No, I always wanted a swimmer's body. Pure poetry in motion. Liquid made flesh, hairless and streamlined. Muscles taut as drum heads pounding rhythms on the surface of the water in a syncopated symphony of grace and power and purpose. But alas, alack, obviously I've been graced with neither. No water has honed these thighs, no iron has etched these calves, for I have a poet's body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hunched back and pot belly skin, not bronzed in oil, but pale and sallow from basking in the radiation of a computer screen in a darkened room. <laughs> body fueled not by steroids and energy bars, but by shots of old granddad whiskey at four in the morning and coffee! Lots of coffee! Give me some freaking coffee! Hey, hey, I'm hey, not that old asshole! <laughs> doesn't pump iron. It pumps iron. You don't pump iron. Fuck you bitches. Pumping iron into poem after poem. Slinging sweat on reams of bright white inkjet paper and sumo wrestling demons by candlelight. I've traded rock hard ass for a rock solid vocab. Poem trapezius is for thread breath of Saurus is a mountainous gluteus maximus for a moth-eaten moleskin notebook. And 20 reps at the Bowflex for the 20 volume set of the Oxford English Language Dictionary. Yeah. Pure, a definition. <laughs> Give me a smoky poetry slam and a dingy dive bar over cleaning and jerking in a gold gym any day. Yeah. My fellow slam poets may not be muscle bound freaks, but we are multisyllabic monsters, lifting the spirit of the masses with the strength of our convictions and pulling down crooked regimes with pinstrom. Our muscles propel our fingertips across keyboards at 86 truths per minute. Our eyes that flash at the direction of every side. And our hearts, the strongest muscle in the human body that weeps and moans and gnashes its teeth and fights and loves so hard it nearly bursts from our chest every time it rains. 